you can imagine not being able to talk, she can't communicate like you or I. You can imagine not having a, a voice. I have been working for years to get a system that works for Mia. Yay! But when she grabbed prose, I want Plato. I want Plato. 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 I want Plato. Plato. I love Plato. I want Plato. I like your sentence. The reason why we're doing what we're doing is because we want to democratize voice for millions of people. What we do with the EEG is we take the data that comes from your brain waves to have pros speak a phrase out loud. Liz is now able to think and prose speaks on her behalf. Magic smiling. Let's get a good smile. So smile for yes and push away for no. Yes. Liz, you just did it. Communication is everything for her. I want it to impact the rest of their lives. Using brain and facial inputs. I mean, this is, this is history, <laughs> and you're watching. The world we're going to create is that every single person, regardless of your ability, is going to be able to communicate. I love you. It's just going to happen. Welcome back. Well, we are blown away by that video, as I'm sure you are, and we've been promising you the whole show. Uh, so we're welcoming uh, Andreas Forsland. He is with us via Skype and one of the brilliant people behind this incredible computer, brain-computer interface that translates brainwaves directly into communication. I'm just, I'm, I'm never speechless, I, and I'm almost speechless. It's hard to believe that this exactly, this technology exists. Welcome to the show, Andreas. Yeah. Oh, thanks for having me. I'm super happy to be here. Okay, tell us a little bit about what just Cognition is. Well, Cognition's the name of our company. Um, we've been in business for about five years, uh, and we've focused on building software um, that helps many different kinds of people who are unable to speak to communicate or express themselves, not only just for them to express themselves, but for their loved ones or doctors or other people around them to better understand what their needs are. And so how, tell us about the technology and how it works. Um, well, yeah, so, so we started out um, by building a, a simple application that you can download onto an iPhone or an iPad. Uh, and kind of like some of the other AAC type apps you might be familiar with uh, that are picture based, um, what we realized um, was that uh, all of the solutions are picture based today. Um, and what we learned is that it takes a considerable amount of time to learn those systems, what those pictures mean, and then how to construct or compose those sentences when really what people want to do is they want to say something really quickly. Mm -hmm. um, and so what we did is we designed technology that uses body language, right? So understanding that, you know, even as babies, we communicate with gestures, um, even before we know how to move our mouth or breathe a particular way to say a word. Uh, so we kind of used that paradigm of, uh, you know, how, how could you sort of correspond a very simple phrase or a word uh, with a gesture that you could swipe on the surface of a screen? Um, so as an example, I could kind of show you how our, our basic app works. It's called Prose. I'm showing it here on the screen. But if I just uh, tap on the screen, right, I could say hi. Or I could swipe up to say yes. Or down to say no, right? I could double tap. I could say I want. I want a bathroom. So what we're doing is enabling people to quickly access communication by remembering simple gestures and swipes um, as opposed to having to drill down lots of different menus to compose uh, sentences. 
so pros is in the app store now that was that was really where we started <clears throat> but then as we started working with schools and rehabilitation hospitals um, and families in their homes uh, using pros what we learned is that there's a lot of different needs um, uh, that have more to do with uh, uh, motor skills than uh, language skills um, and so we realized that in order to access communication uh, you needed to have more than just one way to get to it so we figured out how to uh, connect uh, wearable devices like an Apple watch uh, so you could take an Apple watch and connect it to your iPhone and then you could simply tap on the Apple Watch. If you can't reach or use the gestures, you can tap on the watch to communicate. Um, and then the most recent breakthrough, which you saw in our video, um, we figured out how to take uh, a little headset that has brainwave sensors. Um, it's called EEG mm -hmm. uh, uh, technology. And we figured out how to decode uh, brainwave sensors and map them to remotely control the app so that you can generate speech uh, by concentrating on certain types of patterns uh, and you can generate things with your mind alone. Um, so that's a really exciting uh, product that we're in development on now um, and we're preparing to open that up uh, to uh, folks uh, on the East Coast and also on the West Coast uh, a little bit later this year um, to do some usability testing. So, yeah. So it literally reads the mind of the person that's utilizing it? it, it reading the mind, is that's a bit sort of science fiction. Right. <laughs> you know? So it's a little scary when you say, hey, it's reading my mind. Where It's not technically interpreting your mind. What it's doing is it's reading your brain waves. Okay. And um, as you concentrate, as a, as a person concentrates on different things, those brain waves tend to have repeatable patterns. And so what we're doing is, as they're thinking about certain subjects, we can correspond those brainwave patterns. We can record them and save them into their preferences in the app so that their brain waves are accessible so that when they're thinking about a particular topic, it will trigger that in speech. This is absolutely okay. fascinating. Of course, we have a lot of people uh, watching the show that are on the spectrum. We have parents and mm -hmm. teachers all having to deal with autism. But we also have a fairly large group of people now watching the show who have cerebral palsy. Mm -hmm. And a lot of them are using AUG devices to communicate. And, and they have a great interest in making sure that uh, individuals who are on the autism spectrum and are non-vocal have the ability to communicate. And they're wonderful, wonderful advocates for this. And I, I know one young gentleman in particular, I, I hope you're watching, Mike Hippel, uh, <laughs> because the, I'm sure he will be so excited about this. How does anyone get access to both of these types of technology? Yeah, well, um, you would, if you're interested in the uh, brain computer interface work, you can just visit our website, cognition.com. Uh, it should be up on the screen there, C O G N I X I O N.com. Um, or if you'd like to just simply um, uh, have access to pros, if you just want to try out pros on a mobile device just through the gesture stuff, um, you can visit speakpros.com. And uh, you can contact us there, and you can either download it in iTunes or you can request uh, more information, and we're happy to answer any of your questions. And, okay. and so correct me if I'm wrong, but on, speak, uh, on pros, so you get to decide what the gestures are, or does it give you some things and say, here's what we have found to be very effective? Like you were, you were doing the double tap for I want. Is that going to be the case for everyone, or they can customize it for themselves? Yeah, so, so they can, anybody can customize these infinitely however they want. So um, right now we've got 31 uh, unique uh, gestures that, that you can correspond words, phrases, or letters, or emoji to each one. So you can make it however you want. Um, what we've learned, though, is that a number of, um, just over, over the time since we launched Pros, uh, we've learned and heard from many users about what are the most popular and favorite combinations of gestures and phrases. Mm -hmm. So 
when you download pros for the first time, you'll you'll get to see some of those as the presets, but you can change those if you want to personalize them. Amazing. And so what what does uh, pros cost for if somebody goes to get the app? How much is that going to cost? Yeah, pros today pros is ninety nine dollars um, and you basically get all updates for free forever. So uh, you don't have to worry about any surprises later with pros. Um, and uh, it comes with unlimited support, et cetera. So, um, yeah. Which is significantly less than some of the competitors that do it other ways. Uh, so that needs to be said. That's, a, that's an amazing sort of price point. And then, and then the, co the, the other with the EEG, that's not something that's widely available yet, correct? Yeah, it's not widely available today. What we're doing is we're going to be the first company to commercialize um, or make available publicly this kind of technology um, that has historically been sort of kept in the labs, right? And, um, and so, uh, you know, we don't have a price point for that yet, but um, if you're interested in uh, participating in some of our uh, thought-to-speech uh, usability testing, if you're in the Toronto area or New York area or the uh, Southern or Central California area, um, Santa Barbara, LA, San Francisco, um, we'd love for you to visit us and, and contact us on the cognition.com site and sign up to our uh, beta waitlist, and then we'll reach back out to you when we're ready to uh, let you try it out. Wonderful. Okay. And Mike wrote in and said, Wow, this is amazing. I knew you'd think oh, this good. was amazing. He's watching. Mike. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so wonderful. Well, thank you for being with us. Thank you, for, uh, you know, just to see the grin on that face, mm -hmm. you know. I can't even imagine how rewarding this is for you, but thank you for doing it. Uh, it's a great, great service to so many different communities. Yeah, we're really thrilled and we're, we're grateful for folks like yourself as well that kind of help with just the everyday thing. You know, a lot of the resources for autism go into the research, which is important, mm -hmm. but I think, you know, helping with things that help with the everyday, like Absolutely. what we're doing and all the other things you're showcasing. Um, you know, that's that's super valuable, especially with all the kids we see that are, you know, they're in school and they're trying to, you know, prepare themselves for life, you know, and, and how can we ensure that they have the greatest level of independence and greatest chance of having a great life? And I think that's where we all, you know, can agree that, you know, there's literally, we found that there's 370 million people worldwide. Uh, if you include autism and cerebral palsy, Down syndrome, uh, strokes, aphasia, Anyone who's nonverbal, there's 370 million people. So our mission as a company is to try and unlock as many voices as we can. So um, with your help, we're going to be able to do that. So once again, because we're way out of time, but what is your website one more time? Cognition.com. Okay, and and that's with an X, not a T. With an X. If you're interested in the thought to speech, if you want the app, you can just go to speakpros.com. Wonderful. Okay, thank you, well, Andreas, for sharing this great technology. And we'll with have us. to have you back on uh, as you get closer to other things and as things happen. I love this. Thank you so much. Love to be back. Thank you, thank guys. You. Thank bye you. Bye bye. Really incredible. Yes. I, get, I get goosebumps it's, it's when, amazing. when I see it's, things like that. Truly wonderful.